Hey everyone, Lee Burkhardt here, and welcome to another episode of our hands-on video series. Today I'm very excited to be talking to you about our first impressions of the all-new Small HD Ultra 5 monitor and the Nauticam NA Ultra underwater housing. Needless to say, we're thoroughly impressed with this new equipment, and there are so many exciting features to talk about that it's hard to even know where to start. So we're going to break all these features down, discuss the really important ones that stand out, additional gear you should consider adding, and more importantly, what kind of benefits all this equipment offers for underwater imaging. So let's kick this off by first taking a closer look at the Ultra 5 monitor. This monitor may be Small HD's most feature-rich offering in terms of an onboard camera monitor. The monitor itself features a whopping 3000 nits of brightness, a 1920 by 1080 display with 10-bit color for accurate log monitoring. HDMI and SDI inputs and outputs along with HDMI to SDI conversion, an Ethernet port for remote control operation of RED, ARRI, and Sony Venice cinema cameras, a V-mount battery plate for extended run times when independently powering the monitor, and lastly we have access to Small HD's Page OS 5 operating system. Now all of this looks really great on paper of course, but how does it actually apply to underwater imaging and what are the benefits? The incredible 3000 nits of brightness is perhaps one of the most interesting new features, as this is the highest brightness factor we've seen on any monitor and housing combo to date. Even in extremely bright conditions, such as near the surface, or perhaps in shallow water where you typically have lots of ambient sunlight that will cause flare across the monitor, the screen is clearly visible, and in our opinion, without even the need of a monitor shade. 10-bit color is provided, and you can use any of Small HD's preloaded LUTs, or even add in your own via the SD card slot in the monitor for accurate exposure and color monitoring of log camera signals. The HDMI to SDI conversion is a particularly useful feature for camera operators or owners that only have an HDMI output available on their equipment. This feature essentially allows you to convert the HDMI signal coming from the camera to the Ultra 5 into a reliable SDI signal that can be routed out and up to equipment at the surface, such as a director's monitor, broadcast equipment, or really any other type of production needs you may have. This is a huge benefit in our opinion, as SDI is far more reliable at extended lengths and less prone to wear, tear, and failures than HDMI. It's also fully supported by Nauticam as well, using their 45 meter and 15 meter SDI cables, which are designed exactly for these types of applications. And the NA Ultra 5 housing already features bulkhead openings along the top of the housing for connecting these extended SDI surface cables. We've already put together an entire article on how this works and the equipment involved, so be sure to check that out in the video description link below. The Ethernet port is something new from Small HD and an exciting feature for RED, ARRI, and Sony Venice camera owners and operators. This Ethernet port allows for full remote operation of the camera's controls directly through the Ultra 5 monitor, and there are numerous applications where this can be particularly useful. In addition, Nauticam fully supports this feature on the NA Ultra housing and has developed cinema camera control cable bundles which provide SDI, power, and ethernet connections to the Sony Venice, ARRI, and RED cinema cameras. These cable bundles are a perfect solution for underwater camera operators that want the ability to control their camera through the Ultra 5 monitor and the ethernet connection as well as powering the monitor directly through the camera batteries, making battery changes in the field that much easier and more time efficient. If you're not using Nauticam cinema camera cable bundles that I just mentioned for powering the monitor through the camera batteries, the Ultra 5 and Nauticam housing are designed to accommodate small HD's micro V-mount plate along with the FXL Ion 50 watt hour micro V-mount batteries. More compact V-mount batteries are being tested, so stay tuned on our channel here for additional updates. Perhaps one of the best features found on any of the small HD line of monitors is their Page OS 5 operating system. In our experience, this may be one of the easiest and most user-intuitive operating systems in the market, and it's totally loaded with all kinds of useful features to make your job underwater that much easier. You can navigate the operating system using the up, down, left, 
right and select controls found on the housing to simply scroll, select, and activate any of the tools or features found on the Ultra 5. The monitor is also fully equipped with Small HD's Premium Assist toolset. Some of these assist tools include one to one zoom, focus peaking, exposure assist, histogram, waveforms, framing guides, and even the option for applying preloaded or custom 3D LUTs to accurately monitor and expose your camera's log footage properly. Small HD's page builder system is really unique and completely customizable. You can add additional pages, each with their own customizable assist tools, allowing you to scroll left or right between pages to quickly check focus, exposure, color, and composition without having to toggle all of these assist tools on or off. Depending on your preference, you can also set up multiple assist tools on a single page as well. In addition, each of these assist tools are fully customizable to your needs. Take the focus assist tool here for example. I can change the color of the focus peaking to a variety of different colors. Or even adjust the sensitivity of the focus peaking. Here in the waveform, I can actually adjust the size of the waveform that's displayed. along with its location on the display. The possibilities here are really endless. Okay, so we've talked about the features on the Ultra 5 monitor, but how about the Nauticam underwater housing? One of the first things you'll notice is the compact design and excellent control placement. Thanks to the ingenious engineering from the folks over at Nauticam, all of the manual controls found on the monitor are completely accessible through the housing, including the on-off button, navigation joystick, and each of the custom function buttons shown here. The monitor installation and assembly really couldn't be any easier on this. In fact, you can build the entire system in just a couple of minutes. Simply depress the red button found on the housing latch and rotate the latch counterclockwise to open the housing door. You'll notice several M28 bulkheads along the bottom and top of the housing. These bulkheads are used to routing an HDMI or SDI connection to your camera and the housing. I'll circle back to talk more about the different cable options available in a moment, but for now you want to remove one of the M28 bulkhead caps from the housing. Carefully slide your SDI or HDMI cable into the bulkhead and rotate the fastener collar found on the cable clockwise onto the bulkhead to secure it in place. Next, you'll need to install the Ultra 5 monitor into the housing. Plug the Nauticam HDMI or SDI cable into the monitor's input. Rotate each of the housing monitor levers into the open position. Place the monitor into the frame found inside the housing. Then rotate each of the monitor levers back into the lock position to secure the monitor into place. With the monitor installed, close the rear housing door and rotate the housing's latch clockwise back into the lock position. The NA Ultra 5 is designed to work with virtually any camera Nauticam housing that accepts an HDMI or SDI signal. You'll need to purchase these parts separately, and Nauticam makes a wide variety of HDMI 1.4, HDMI 2.0, and SDI cables along with a selection of HDMI and SDI bulkheads for routing these to cameras and housings. 
It's important to understand that each camera and housing will have its own unique bulkhead and cable to route an HDMI or SDI signal up to the monitor. So you want to be sure you're using the correct equipment for your specific gear. You can find the correct components you need directly on the product page if you're not a cam camera housing, or just contact us directly. With all of the various types of connections and cameras available, we understand that it can be really confusing deciphering what exactly that you need. All of our staff are very knowledgeable with this equipment and can verify the exact parts that you need to set up the monitor. Along both the top and bottom of the NA Ultra 5 housing, you'll find four quarter 20 and four M3 threaded holes. These can be used for attaching a variety of mounting hardware depending on your needs. And Nauticam also includes a ball mount with the housing for you as well. This is perhaps the easiest option as the ball mount can be attached to either the top or bottom of the NA Ultra 5 housing, and then easily clamped on to any available ball mount on your camera housing. Nauticam's Moisture Alarm Electronics are included by the way, along with their vacuum electronics system and a vacuum valve. This is a great feature as it provides some peace of mind that you've assembled the entire kit properly and it's safe to die before you even enter the water. As you can see, the housing is incredibly versatile and can be set up with just about any camera and Nauticam underwater housing based on your needs. And while most of you might think that this monitor is geared directly towards video shooters, you'd be wrong. Rather than having to rely on a dimly lit camera LCD, or having to have your face buried into electronic viewfinder, you can have a larger, ultra-bright monitor available with all kinds of useful assist tools for exposure, focus, and composition. In addition, it offers all kinds of different viewing angles for photography, with various mounting positions available through the ball and clamp design. For example, when shooting macro, you can keep the camera very low to the ground and at eye level with small subjects while keeping your position safely elevated off the reef or seafloor and in a much more comfortable viewing position to shoot. This equipment is perhaps one of the best monitor and housing combos we've used to date that offers an incredible value considering the benefits and features it provides for underwater imaging. Overall, we're thoroughly impressed with the Ultra 5 and Nauticam housing, and I hope today's video has been useful for any of you considering picking this gear up from us. Now, if you like today's video, you'd like to see more content like this from us, or if you're just curious in learning more about underwater imaging, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons found just below the video here. Of course, feel free to leave any questions in the comment section below, and to check out more of our other articles, videos, and additional content, you can visit our website and just click on the Learn tab found along the top of the homepage. Well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more cool content to come soon, and we'll see you on the next one.